Okay, we've been studying the angles formed when you cut two parallel lines by a transversal and all their special relationships. But we're going to step back and we're going to do a review of algebra on how to write the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. I'm going to go through this very quickly because this is a review. But if at any time you're confused, stop the video, pause it, go back, re-listen to what you need. Okay. Let's do a quick review here that slope-intercept form of an equation is y equals mx plus b. And remember, the only two things we replace in this equation are the m and the b. The m stands for whatever your slope is. And on a graph, that would be your rise over run. And the b stands for your y-intercept. And on a graph, that would be the point 0 and whatever b is. So I would like you to write an equation of a line that goes through these two points, 2, 7, and 3, negative 10. This is a two-step process. First you find the slope, then you find the y-intercept. Well, notice I've given you a handy-dandy little um, formula for the slope. So I'm going to label my points x1, y1, x2, y2, and I'm going to use this formula, and I'm just going to plug those numbers in. And when I do that, I get negative 17 over 1, which I'm going to simplify to negative 17. So this slope of the, the slope of this line is negative 17. To find the y-intercept, I'm going to use the formula y equals mx plus b. And here I am going to replace the y and the x with my slope to try to find out what b is. I'm going to choose one of my points, and the points that I the point I'm going to choose is 2, 7. You could use the other one as well. But this one doesn't have any negatives, so I thought that might make it easier. So I'm going to replace y with 7. I'm going to use my nifty slope of negative 17. I'm going to replace x with 2. And then I'm going to say plus b, because I don't know what that is. I'm going to simplify, solve that, and I get that my y-intercept, or my b, is 41. Now, it says write an equation. So I'm going to say y equals insert my slope, which is negative 17, times x, plus my y-intercept. This is the equation of a line that goes through those two points. Again, pause it and go back if you need to. All right, well, let's write an equation from a line on a graph. Again, I'm going to use y equals mx plus b, slope-intercept form, and I'm only going to replace the m, which is my slope, and the b, which is my y-intercept. So I'm going to go ahead and just start my equation with some blanks. I'm going to look at my slope, which is rise over run. And on a graph, you just count. So between two points, I'm going to count down. That's 6. I'm going to count that way. That's 3. And since the line goes down left to right, I know it has to be negative. I'm going to simplify that to a negative 2. And I'm going to put that in my equation as my slope. Then I'm going to look at where my graph crosses the y-axis, right there at point 0, 4, and I'm going to put that 4 in my equation. So the equation of this line is y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now, I would like you to write an equation of a line passing through the point negative 1, 1 that is parallel to the line with the equation y equals 2x minus 5. You need to memorize that parallel lines have the same slope. So let's take a look at uh, the equation that they give me. And they said that the slope of this line is 2. If parallel lines have the same slope, then my equation must have a slope of 2. Oh, that's pretty easy. Love it. So all I have to do now is find the y-intercept. And I'm going to use the same process as I did on the previous slide. I am going to replace the y and the x with this point, negative 1, 1. I'm going to put the 1 where the y is, use my slope of 2, put the negative 1 where the x is, and put plus b, simplify, solve, and I get that my y-intercept is 3. So the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 2x minus 5 and goes through point negative 1, 1 is y equals 2x plus 3. 
you will be asked to do this on your test. So make sure you understand this process. Now the next thing we're going to do is write an equation of line that is perpendicular. So the first thing that we need to know and memorize, you need to memorize this. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Opposite means a different sign. And reciprocal means fraction flipped. So, if I'm going to write one that's perpendicular, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what my slope is. And remember, my slope has to be opposite reciprocal. So let's take a look at the slope that they have. It's a negative 2. Well, that is not a fraction, so I'm going to change it into a fraction by putting it over 1, and then I'm going to flip it. So if I flip negative 2 over 1, I'm going to get 1 over negative 2. And then remember, it has to also be a different sign. So if it's negative, it now has to be positive. For perpendicular slopes, you must make two changes. You must flip the fraction, must change the sign. So, I know my new slope has to be 1 half. Now, to find my y-intercept, I'm going to use the same process as I did before. I'm going to use the point that they gave me, 2, 3. Instead of y in my equation, I'm going to put 3. I'm going to use my nifty slope of 1 half. I'm going to replace the x with 2 and say plus b. I'm going to simplify, solve, and I get that my y-intercept is 2. So 2 goes into my equation. So the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equals negative 2x plus 7 and goes through point 2, 3 is y equals 1 half x plus 2. Again, go back over if you need to, but you will have to write an equation that is perpendicular and write an equation that is parallel to a given equation going through a point. I think you're ready for your homework.